gift, this heart, and it was open and generous, and suddenly it's like I could feel everything you've ever felt for her. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, because now I have this great big love that I have no idea what to do with. You remember how in Italian I used to fight all the time? But you know what? We're a family now. We're a real, honest, to goodness family. And Emma, oh my gosh, gosh, she she is so happy. She's so happy. She just glows. You know something? It's funny because I have been through breakups and divorces and all kinds of failures, but loving Natalia and letting her go so she can have a great life, I think that might be just the one thing that I've done right. You know, I promised the doctors that I would take such good care of this heart. But I swear to you, based on how I'm feeling right now, I think I've broken it. You know, when I was sick, you pretended to love me so that I would keep on fighting. But I knew. I knew your heart belonged to her. And now I know why. Oh, I just used to make fun of her all the time. I mean, her goodness and her faith. and She was like some eternally chipper Mary Poppins. <laughs> Truth is, I envied her. I know she's gonna get married, and I'm gonna stand there and I'm gonna watch her walk away from me forever. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay because I have finally learned how to put someone else first, and I learned that with her. So you see, guys, I I I am trying to believe in something bigger. And a love that would have me walk away from the one person that I would give anything to keep. As if it was just meant to be. What if I'm wrong and you don't feel the same? Am I getting ahead of I, I wanted to make sure there were fresh flowers here, because, you know, we have a contract with these people, and I swear to you, I think they're slacking off. That's not why you're here. I wanted to say goodbye. And not to Gus, but to everything that, you know, we've had since he died. What do you mean? Well, you're starting a new life, you know? A new life, a new family, and I, I should do the same thing. I came to say goodbye, too. It's, it's funny how we were both thinking, thinking the, the same, same thing. thing. <laughs> See, this is a good reason for me to move on, because, you know, we're finishing each other's thoughts, and uh, next thing you know, we'll be on the couch fighting over the remote and matching jogging suits like an old man. We're doing the right thing, though. You know, we are, because it's the best thing for everybody. It's the best thing for Frank and Rafe and Emma, for all of us. That is what is important. That's what's important. If you know that, then why are you crying? <laughs> because I'm crying because... Just, you should go. You're getting married. Come on. 
you should go and try on your dress and sip champagne know. and look for something Just old and something new tell me what's wrong. and something borrowed and something blue. Just go be with your groom. Please, you don't want to know why you're upset. You don't want to know I do. why you're upset. I do. with you. I'm in love with you. And that's why I want you to be with someone who can make you happy. And who can give you the life that you deserve. And I can't do that for you. Olivia? Don't say anything. It's okay. I just, I can't keep quiet. I am stopped myself so many times and I have lost my nerve and I have stuffed my feelings down and I just I can't do it any <laughs> I say screw up because you know what this might be my last chance to set the record straight once you once you say something you cannot say it I know okay you've told me that look I don't know when this happened I I, I just know that somewhere along the line you stop just being my roommate and my friend and Emma's other mommy and even the person who gave me Gus's heart. You became the woman I love. And I know that it's a sin in your book and I get that and I get that Frank can give you love and security and, and a home for you and Rafe. And you know what, I, I could give you a home too, but it, it could never be as safe as anything Frank could offer you. Safe is not the most important thing. To... All I could offer you is whispering and and uh, canceled play dates for Emma and, 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 and tormenting Rafe, you know, at a time when he really needs to feel like he can make a fresh start. We've done that. We've, we've, we've survived all the whispering and the canceled play dates and Rafe has survived prison. This would be so much worse. It would just be a world of trouble, and I don't want that for you. I've handled trouble before. <laughs> Are you going to get hurt? I can't. I can't live with that. I love you, but I don't know what offering my love will do to you. It'll ask you to change who you are and what you believe. And then that would make this whole thing a lie, wouldn't it? Don't you know how much... Don't! You know where you need to be. Traffic and it's a mess and, and but sorry. <laughs> yeah. Frank, what's the matter? Father Ray can't make it. Oh. No, it's okay. I've called all over town. Uh, nothing yet, but everybody's working on it. So. Uh, did you call Father Tim? I did. He was the first call, but he's booked. Maybe you guys should just postpone. No, I don't want. No, no. No, we're, we're getting married, if we have to do it ourselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you go, girl. Yeah, so, um, nobody move. I just have to run and get into the dress and all the... You know, I'll help. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Father, I have always trying to do what you want me to do. And I need for you to please give me the strength to do the right thing today, to make the right choices. Nothing else matters. Nothing. Oh, God, please don't. 
You've never abandoned me before. Please don't leave me now. A word, Mayor Wolf? <laughs> Listen, you know, I'm trying to decide. Should this be a traditional service or something more personal? I mean, you really would know what Natalia likes. What the hell do you think you're doing? What? Frank and Natalia needed someone to perform the wedding. I just volunteered. Okay, you've had your fun. Now go authorize a sewer or something, will you? You know, I could do that. Mm -hmm. But then who would perform the ceremony? All right, fine. But I want this to be beautiful for her, so just keep your thoughts, your opinions, your snide remarks to yourself, okay? What, will you stand next to her as her maid of honor? Do you have a problem with that? Yeah, I do. Look, from our talk the other day, I, I really thought you would come to your senses and tell her how you really What feel? makes you think that I didn't? You told her? Yes. I put my heart out there. I rolled the dice. I risked everything. And? She shot me down. She wants Frank. And that's your story. And I'm sticking to it. The bride is almost ready. Frank, we have to go. There's somebody in there who loves you. Come on. She should marry Frank now. Isn't she a perfect bride? She's beautiful. Thank you, Emma. Mm.